Let's take a look at whether water, H2O, is an acid or a base. And we're going to talk about pure water here. So just pure water. We had some pure water, nothing dissolved in it, no gases or solutes. Pure water has a pH of 7. Pure water is neutral. So we don't think about pure water as acidic or alkaline. We think of it as a neutral substance. But when water is with another substance, it can actually act as an acid or a base. When we say it's amphiprotic, it can either donate or accept a proton, and that really depends on the circumstances. And by proton, we mean H+, the hydrogen ion. So we're using the Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids or bases. So with Bronsted-Lowry acid, that donates a proton, that H+. A base, it accepts the proton. So let's take a look at two examples. So in the first example, we have NH3, that's ammonia, plus water. So here, is water acting as an acid or a base? So does it end up losing an H or gaining an H? Now if we look over here, we have H2O. We end up with this OH, OH minus, the hydroxide ion. So it looks like it lost a proton. It donated a proton. And the NH3, now it's NH4 plus. It got that proton. So water here is donating a proton. It's a donor. That means water's acting as an acid in this first equation. Let's take a look at the next one. Here we have HF, hydrofluoric acid, and water. So we see in this case we have H2O, but now we go to H3O+. plus. So water accepted or gained a proton. If it accepts a proton, water's acting like a base. So in this equation, this water here, it's acting like a base. So again, water is amphiprotic. It can act as an acid or a base depending on what it's with. Pause and give these a try. In the first case, water, it gave a proton to this NH2 minus. Now we have NH3. So since water was a donor, it's acting as an acid. Here we have hydrochloric acid. So we're pretty sure water is going to act like a base. But let's check. We start out with H2O. We get H3O plus, so it accepted a proton. That means water is acting as a base here. And the hydrochloric acid, that's acting as an acid. It donated the proton to the water. The HCl becomes Cl minus. One thing you should be aware of, when we're talking about water, whether it's an acid or a base, water does undergo a process called autoionization. So if you had that pure water that we said had a pH of 7, was neutral, a very small number of the water molecules, there'll be an equilibrium where we have the H2O molecules, two of them, and one will donate a proton, one will accept the proton, and we end up with H3O plus and OH minus. So here, water is acting as an acid and a base when it undergoes auto-ionization. Very little of the water in a sample of water will do this. Very few molecules will do it, but a few will. And since the pluses and the minuses, they cancel out, we do maintain that pH of 7. This is Dr. B answering the question whether water is an acid or a base. It really depends on what it's with. Thanks for watching.